the top tonight at 6, a serial burglar is off the streets. Cape Coral police say the suspect is responsible for a string of business and home burglaries. Police were able to catch the suspect with the new footprint software. We first told you about that technology last week. Now, days later, it's already catching crooks. Nick Spinetto is live at Cape Police headquarters with this Week News exclusive, new at 6. Well, the suspect in these burglaries is 30-year-old Scott Krupp. Police say Krupp stole hundreds of dollars worth of stuff from homes and businesses in Cape Coral. Ultimately, though, it was Krupp's own footprint that led police right to his front door. Wink News is getting exclusive access to crime scene photos. It matches the tread in his, at his residence and also at the burglary scene. This small, barely there footprint belongs to the criminal. That's a globe. Taking steps to crack down on crime, Cape Police used this new footprint software to find out what type of shoe the print is from. Eventually, that led them to Scott Krupp. He ran uh, from the police and jumped in a canal where one of his shoes sank to the bottom. A dive team recovered Scott Krupp's shoe. Krupp is believed to be responsible for breaking into several Cape Coral homes and a business over the course of several weeks. The suspect cut himself on the window and left some blood, some DNA evidence behind. Using his DNA and his shoe print, police narrowed in on Krupp. It's very important and it's a, a pivotal piece. Here's why. Cape Police got this new shoe print technology last week. It's a database of more than 25,000 different shoes, brands, and patterns. At a crime scene, police can take a picture of it, scan it into the system, and within minutes they know which type of shoe they have. Before, they used to have to send a photo of the shoe print to a crime lab in Tampa, and that could take months. With this new technology, once police have a suspect, they can check and see if his shoe print matches. If it does, it helps them take another criminal off the street. The totality of the evidence and the circumstances really tightens the case. We're a lot better with it than we would have been without it. Now, Cape Coral police were able to purchase this software with grant money. Meanwhile, Scott Krupp is facing a series of burglary charges tonight. We're live here in Cape Coral. Nick Spinetto, Wink News Now.